The token by the Dusk Network is on a massive run. It's up more than 40% in this week alone. Now the question is, what's behind this rally? Is this something sustainable? Because if the price is going up, there's obviously buyers. Who is buying here? Now here's the rally I'm referring to. We are currently at 26 cents roughly. And there had been somewhat of a roller coaster ride. The price tends to pump and then subsequently dump. And we are just starting a recent pump again. Dusk has a very ambitious plan. On the one hand, it wants to be decentralized. On the other hand, it also wants to be regulated, but still be 100% privacy driven. So there's a lot of big names on the website and Dusk has tokenizing assets at the core of their unique selling point. Now, I'm not going to bore you too much with the content on the website because we want to get an edge versus the market, right? We want to get the information that most people do not have or do not look at. And one of those pieces of information is always programmer activity. So this is the GitHub repository. And here we can have a look at how much activity is there currently other programmers actively working on the project and the answer is yes somewhat there was an update two days ago also a few updates on the hash algorithm on the schnorr signature scheme for the jup jup elective curve group I'm not pretending to understand what this means. This sounds pretty much like technical mumbo jumbo and I actually do have a tech background. But let's have a look if we can trust the team because that's a nice thing about Dusk. They are 100% transparent who's working on this. This is not just a project run by people that are anonymous. So we've got the founder here who's also given some interviews on YouTube. He's been working on Dusk for six years now. Then we've got the CMO, who's interestingly enough not mentioning his CMO title in LinkedIn. It's only written on the website. Then we've got another founder, also from the Netherlands, just as the CEO. And here we've got the head of technology or CTO. He's been with Dusk for five years. So a pretty stable team, no real red flags here. The question though is how much had been delivered so far in those five to six years. And for that, we can have a look at the Explorer. So Dusk does not just have a token on Ethereum and on the Binance Smart Chain. It also has its own blockchain. That's the whole unique selling point. But look at this. There are a ton of blocks being mined, but all of them have zero transactions. When we look at the recent transactions, there are some transfers, but it's not massive. Unfortunately, the charts and statistics on the Explorer are also pretty much useless. We can't really see how the number of transactions is developing over time. We only have a little world map here, maybe with the miners. We've got some price data, some market cap data, but that's about it. When I see an independent blockchain that has been worked on for more than five years, I want to see the number of wallets. I want to see the number of transactions. I want to see all of that fundamental adoption metrics. Not having this transparently on the website or on the Explorer is obviously not a good sign. Now here's a quick glance at the white paper. It's very technical. It also sells a lot of technical mumbo jumbo. Who knows how much is really behind this? Maybe this is technology that's still searching for its problem. But here's then the big question. Why can the price suddenly pump like this Who's buying here? Because obviously if the price goes up, there needs to be demand. Is this small retail or are these the big whales or are these the centralized exchanges? Let's have a look on chain. I built a tool that I made available to the premium members, which looks at retail versus whales. And for Dusk, we've got two different kinds of tokens. We've got one on the Ethereum blockchain and one on the Binance Smart Chain. And on the left side, we see the number of wallets that hold at least a thousand Dusk tokens. So at the current price, that's $266. That's retail that has some play money in it. This is a very long-term chart starting in 2019. In the middle, we've got the medium-sized holders. So that's now 10,000 tokens or $2,600 worth of the token. On the right, we've got the whales. Here we're looking at $26,000 worth of the token. Now those are very erratic movements. Some might be related to centralized exchange listings or to staking programs, etc. Let's just look at the last 30 days. And here we do see quite a bit of growth. A bit under 10% for small retail, around 5% for medium-sized retail, and also around 5% for the whales. Now this is the Ethereum based token. Let's have a look at the Binance Smart Chain based token. And let's again look at the last 30 days. Here the accumulation is not as clear. 
but in general the numbers are way smaller. On Ethereum we've got more than a thousand holders with 10,000 tokens. On the Binance Smart Chain that's only a bit over a hundred. So it appears that the price appreciation in the last month was really driven by people that accumulate and that's both retail as well as the whales. One reason for those massive ups and downs could be the following. The circulating supply of the dust token has increased quite a bit from what was once 34 million more than 10x to now 450 million. But it appears that the growth isn't that massive anymore. In the last year, the circulating supply increased by 9.1%. So yes, the price did pump and dump quite a bit in the past, but maybe the dump won't be that hard given that token inflation isn't that high anymore. Now there is quite some involvement by the centralized exchanges. The 24 hour trading volume on Binance alone was 10 million. For the perpetual futures, it was 64 million worth of the token. But still relative to the market cap, that's not massive. The market cap being at 123 million. So could the price further rise? I do think so. There is accumulation on all fronts. On the other hand, unfortunately, there isn't too much fundamentally going on here. It seems like the blockchain isn't used that much. And for a project that's running for more than five years, I want to see more on-chain metrics. How many people are actually using the Dusk network? And of course, how many real-world assets have already been tokenized? Who's trading those? I want to know all of this and I couldn't find that data. If it's your first time here, feel free to subscribe. I publish videos regularly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. It helps the channel grow. There's also a free Telegram. Link is down below.